you know, short term is so important right now in Nashville because there's not enough hotel rooms, especially to satisfy these big groups that travel. <laughs> Okay, what's next before we go see Tyler Meg? I'm sitting here going through my calls because my clients are inside there, but I can't go in there right now because I've got to get this stuff done before we go in. I'm Tyler. And I'm Megan, and this is our studio. And uh, today we're meeting with Martin. He's gonna show us some potential rental properties. This Berry Hill area is one of our favorite areas in Nashville, and we're really excited to see what's available. We're doubling up today with them. And you may know Megan. Um, Megan and Tyler both are really active country artists. Um, and Megan had quite a bit of notoriety back in 2015 on The Voice. In fact, it's funny, I text my in-laws this morning. I was like, hey, you guys know who Megan Lindsay is? And they're like, oh my goodness, yeah, she's one of our favorites. What's going I was like, yeah, I'm gonna show her a property today. So. We gotta get over there because it's the last one because Harold just sold the other unit. So we gotta get over there and hopefully lock down a deal for them. After this, we get done with Megan and Tyler. We're gonna go over and do a showing at Pekka's old house. Um, it's not on the market yet. It's coming, it's, we're actually doing the photos and some of the video today, but these people have been begging to get in. So I said, okay, uh, you can come on photo day once I know the staging and everything is ready to go. So that's next after we knock this out. It's a busy day. What's up? How you guys doing? Good, good. good to see you. Good to see you. I'm Megan. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah. yeah. It was good. And I want to talk about, I want to talk about too, like the rollback relationship here that maybe you don't even know about. Oh yeah. What's so fun about today for me is the crazy like, you know how you just kind of stumble on people or you make relationships and it's like, okay, how does the world connect now, right? It's all right. social media and like, oh, it's all fake and the, you know everybody's just like living in this like pretend universe and blah blah blah. But for me, like a really important thing for me to like to start making moves and doing what I'm doing as far as media wise and content wise mm -hmm. was from you. Oh yeah. Because I was on your Instagram account and oh, I saw nice. this random video about the studio or something you were tracking and I watched a few more things and I liked them and I was like, I didn't see who's shooting this. I see this Marcos Maldonado and I'm like, well, I'm gonna give this guy a spin because he looks like he knows what he's doing on this Man. video. So randomly, I just hit Marcos up and I was like, hey man, can you just come shoot this thing? I want to see if we just naturally can work together. Yeah. It was just automatic. So, nice. Well, that's hey. amazing. That so, so what's that great guy. is I'm like, I feel so like personally connected. Yeah, yeah. I love because that. it was like, I love that. you know, the that's world so of Instagram cool. creates yeah. real relationships. Yeah. Yeah. So right. here we are today and yeah. you never know where relationships go, but it's that's just awesome. like so crazy that it just random. Awesome. Now here we are. Yeah. So let's go check it out. They're just finishing these up. If you saw the content when we were over here with Seth and Caleb and Amy, they're uh, they're almost done, um, and they're supposed to start renting these like in the next week or two. That's why getting them under contract now is so meaningful because um, we can get control and do the punch walk and the whole thing with the builder before they start using them as rentals. So, all right, let's go see what they think. Obviously the name of the game right now is heads and beds. Not to be kind yeah. of raw, but that's just the way it is. When you've got four bedrooms plus a rec room that can be a bunk room, yeah. man, you can have 20 girls here. And that's like, mm -hmm. you know, bachelorettes are such a big deal yeah. with these weekend trips and big groups. And that's why short-term rental is so massive. Airbnb is blown up because people don't want to get 12 hotels. Right. right. They all want to be here in a house like this with plenty of room to entertain. 
And that's what I love about these. They're 2,800 square feet with four legit bedrooms, plus the rec room, this massive entertaining space, and they've got a little roof deck with some views. So it's kind of like everything you could want, and we're so close, obviously, to now. So big master suite in the back, which sets up great. You know, the name of the game, once again, is comfort. People want to come to these long weekends and they want to be able to just party it up and have plenty of space. And the other upside of this, if you did turn this back into a residence and you wanted to sell it to an owner occupant, it's got the big master suite that people want. Yeah. The big walk-in with the huge master shower. When you're here, people know they're close to downtown. You can just peek out the window and see the tops of Belmont. And I, I timed it a couple days ago. It's yeah. six minutes to the roundabout six so when people are looking and they're like hey where are we going to stay what's our estimated uber time on my phone from the different locations they see six minutes they know they're good and that's what really makes these units work It's all the feels, right? Right. <laughs> all the feels. All you know what this is? This is after party. I think it gets, you know, it really gets all the boxes checked in terms of what you're looking for to get a high yield property right. in the right location with enough space that you can get the maximum gross. Mm. That's how you max out. Heads and beds, location, function. And this one really does do it all. So I'm going to say these are probably going to gross around 10,000 a month. Mm -hmm. Generally, it's like, off the gross, you're going to make maybe 65%, something like that. Okay. So, you know, if you're pulling in 120, you can do the math on that. It's like, it's still really solid. Yeah. 70, 75 a year. Yeah. yeah. You know, and you figure what you're getting on a long-term lease, like an apartment, you know, it's not going to perform. You're maybe getting four or 5%. Yeah. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, whereas on these guys are really capping out. They're doing really well, really well. And it's easy to get uh, loans against these too. You know, that's the other side. It's like people understand what's happening with these types of properties here. So you can go in, put your 20% down, just roll. Yeah. How's it work with like, does the law, like is the law changes with the Airbnbs or it won't? Well, generally what's happening right now is when they make these adjustments, when they say, okay, this zoning class is no longer going to be considered. This zoning class is going away. Like right now they're in process of moving away from RM which is a true multifamily zoning, but they're moving away from that in October, they're gonna grandfather everybody that already has it. So now you're even more excited, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do, we gotta do it right now. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, exactly. Sign the paperwork. I'm just kidding. It's awesome though, it's really cool. I have to party on it a couple times, make sure it's, you know. Yeah, yeah you should just will. book it. Make sure party the property yeah. manager's here. You know, coming out of that showing with Tyler and Megan, you know, short term is so important right now in Nashville because there's not enough hotel rooms, especially to satisfy these big groups that travel. And so the demand is really there. And honestly, the challenge with short term rental is finding great properties that have appropriate zoning that are not, you know, fortunate. And when I hear about this stuff, it's always off market. It's never like on realtor.com. It's like I get an email from somebody who I've done deals with and they're like, hey man, we've got four units, they're coming up, so-and-so, this is what they want. And they don't even list them. Like they'll put them on MLS after they're under contract. And it's just kind of gets circulated to me and to other people that do deals. And they know we've got buyers both locally and out of market. So I'll hear about it and I just try to put people in the deals as quick as we can. And sometimes people want to fly in and see them sometimes they'll just do a FaceTime showing. I'm blessed because I hear about a lot of that stuff before it ever really gets out there. Like the property we were just at, I just heard about that from a friend. And so we just try to capitalize. We've got good clients that are ready to do something. And I just tell people, hey, you just have to be patient. And that's why it's like, if you're out there looking and you're like, man, how do I find these? I mean, I get calls from agents all the time and they're like, hey, I see you're listing on such and such. Is that qualified for short-term rental? I've got a client that really wants to buy one. And I'm like, man, if you don't even know what zoning qualifies, you know, you're opening yourself up for a lawsuit because you don't really know and yet you're just trying to 
hope for the best and get somebody in the right zoning or the right property. And people that aren't plugged in, you know, may, they may not even know about these zoning changes that are happening now. And then, you know, you sell your client this property and you're like, yeah, it's all good to go. And then they find out they can't get a permit. That's the way you get in trouble. That's why you certainly never get a repeat client out of that deal. I've had agents go, well, what do you know about? And I'm like, well, I've got my own clients. I can't tell you about the stuff that I know about until I know if they want it. And people get mad about that. And I'm like, you know, you just got to network. You got to know people. And some of it just happens where if there's a developer that maybe they do this on, uh, you know, with regularity and they've got multiple projects coming down the pike, you know, if you're able to sell some of those units, then they know, hey, I'll go back to Martin and try that again because he's probably got more clients. And so we've had some success with that. And that's just how some of those guys are willing to hit me up early. They know we can get the get the property sold with no drama. But as far as like the most beloved, I'd say hands down, if you put a put a vote out there, it'd be Pekka. And honestly, the dude is just a great dude. He is a wonderful human being. So it's, you know, well deserved. And he's freaking awesome. I'm just gonna park here. Martin Lovelace. Greg, nice to meet Greg. you. Greg. Am I supposed to look at the camera? You can. <laughs> you can look at me. You can look at me. Aaron. Aaron, nice to meet you. Yeah, well, I'm just documenting like everything these days, you know? Jenny? Hi, how are you? Martin Lovelace. Good to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Okay. So, we'll just we'll just pretend like soothing music is going <laughs> yes. right now. It would help Netflix, but not. You'll not just right. overdub it. The music will show up. That's right. <laughs> now we're talking. Concrete counter, keg, party it out. So this design is supposed to be weight supporting, so you can close it up, people can walk on it. There's great, there's great hiding space for hiding a seek. Oh, Tag for it. real, for <laughs> real, for real. I have three kids. Oh yeah, I do too, I so I get it. Sucks. Greg says he wants to be on the episode. I told him, I said, you guys are here, you're on it. Wow. You're the first ones to see the house, so you know. So like, what of this furniture? All this can stay. All this can stay. Yep, okay. all this comes with it if you want it. I mean, he just kind of tried to do it all, right? Lots of space, lots of privacy. If you've seen the photos from like the builder listing, yeah, yeah. so all this is open, you know, and there's just like a hill with some yeah. grass. So. Tyler Kane, Megan Lindsay, you got it. <laughs>